the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey everybody, God bless you. You know, I want to try to speak for that, which is where we get into taking line upon line, precept upon precept of the Word of God in, 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 in short segments, uh, five to eight minutes of just understanding God's Word and, and trying to get into that uh, understanding. You know, the focus is how to make sense of God's Word. You know, going off of Nehemiah 8, 8, and so they read in the book, and the law of God distinctly, and gave the sense and caused them to understand the reading. So what we want to do is use this platform and try to get an understanding of God's Word. And you know, we can't, and I think we all agree, we can't cover everything uh, in, in, of the Bible, the entire Bible, in one setting. So we're not going to do that. But at the same time, we don't want to overload people with so much word and so so much different points that we get lost because it just comes in too much. I remember being in the church section, a session where it's like, as I was starting to get more revelation, more understanding God's word, it was like, whoa, just too much. Uh, so let's focus on just getting a, a, a piece of understanding of God's word one step at a time. Amen. <laughs> so one of the things is we're going to go ahead and, and I show the scriptures here. And then we're going to try to go ahead and cover them for, for getting understanding of this word, right? So first thing is that let's learn how to pray to God. And prayer is communicating you and God communicating with one another. And, and I know some people sort of say, well, how do I hear from God? Well, that's one of the things you need to understand is that in our day society, we have many different ideas and thoughts and opinions and, and we, we got it from, from the world and, and then we got the spiritual realm of, of thoughts and actions coming. And, and we hear those, you hear different thoughts. You know, we are when people sometimes say, I, I something told me I shouldn't do this. And and what we need to be able to learn to filter out what is God's word, when God is talking, and when the world or the unfaith is unclean is talking. And the way you do that is you line it up with the word of God as a believer in the New Testament, because you're New Testament saints, not Old Testament saints. You know, because there's a lot of things that happen in the Old Testament that, that we don't do, such as, you know, we don't go and invade a, another country, and we don't, we don't take out, move that, run that country away, and then claim it's my own. God promised them that land. But what we're talking about is Christ, the, Christ, the New Testament, is teaching about loving one another. We're not, we're not talking about conquering anybody, but helping people to hear the gospel. Amen? So that's what we're going to focus on. And one of the things is that learn how to pray and communicate is Matthew 6, chapter, verses 9 through 15. And you say, it says, After this matter, therefore pray ye, our Father which art in heaven. We're talking about God the Father in heaven. Not your political party, not your nation, not your constitution, but we're talking and praying to the Father, the heavenly creator of heaven. Our Father, we tell you, to have a hollow be thy name, we glorify you. And you pray to us. And we're only here because of you. Thy kingdom come, meaning God has a system, and He's the king of that system. And what we need to understand is operating in His kingdom. Thy will be done, meaning in earth as in heaven, meaning His will is His word. If you want to understand His will, read and understand His word. That's why I'm saying, let's use these segments to do that. Give us this day, it is a daily thing, our daily bread, which is the word of God. And forgive us about debt, so we forgive about debt towards, meaning learn to forgive one another. If you want to forgive, you got to forgive us the same way. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, meaning we want to be 
led by the Holy Spirit. That if we do come under temptation, it's something we know we can pass because we're relying on the Lord and the God. And deliver us from evil. We want to understand the operating of the hedge of protection that comes from God. To deliver us from the evil. Because we know there's evil in this world. And we want to, we can't depend just on our flesh. We have to depend on God to, to lead us and deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom. Once again, it's saying his kingdom, his system matters. And the power, the real power is not in, in political power. It's not in the flesh power. It's in God's power. The eternal power that comes from God. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory. His glory, not vain. That's why we, we, the people have been duped to sit there and try to think that, well, I'm going to be a uh, black supremacist or white supremacist or any other type of supremacist. That's vain glory. The real glory is God. And, and, and he wraps it up again by saying in 14, for if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father also forgive you. But forgive me not your trespasses, neither would your father in heaven forgive your trespasses. And, and, and that's why I think it's critical for us to recognize the importance of understanding God's word. I don't I don't know how I don't know why the the atrocities that occurred uh, for the crusade or the Spanish Inquisition or the uh, the Atlantic slave trade or the 400 years of slavery or the lynching that occurred after the slavery. We just come from a holiday, Juneteenth. And the fact is that some people were still made to be slaves even after the war was over. Because the people would sit there and say, no, we're, we're not going to take it. You know? But they were free. You know? and, and we're free today. We celebrate that freedom this, on this last weekend. And I'm saying is let's focus on the freedom to choose. God gives you that freedom. But God loves you. And we want to make sure that when you hear, you want to hear from God, study his word, understand his word. That's what we're trying to do. All right? Well, God bless you. I hope you like this little short segment. Uh, give you time to chew on it, meditate on it. We'll maybe keep coming back to that until we get that down pat. Then we'll move on to another segment. Okay? All right. God bless you. And I hope you have a great day. I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.